So we're here at Mobile World Congress. So what, what does your company do? Uh, our company is Oblong, and we have a product called uh, G-Speak, which is a spatial operating environment. It's basically a spatial uh, platform for, uh, for computing. It was uh, designed from the ground up to recognize ob objects in space, and it was really inspired by the, the work of one of our co-founders and chief scientist, Dr. John Andrew Koffler, who was the science advisor for the movie Minority Report, which a lot of people have seen, and, and it's a real reference point for kind of next generation human computer interface. And what makes uh, the interfaces so amazing in Minority Report is that uh, everything exists in space. You can grab something and throw it to another screen. You can grab something from somewhere else and throw it behind your shoulder to, to another device. And so that vision of being able to manipulate objects in space is what uh, we're all about in Oblong. So are, are we going to experience Ma Minority Report right now? Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to be experiencing Minority Report for the conference room. And uh, uh, what we're showing here at the show is uh, something called Bezini, which is, uh, think of it as the sort of um, designed for the, the post-PC office, uh, because we believe very strongly that you know, we live in a world that is multi-screen, multi-user, multi-device, and that it should be really easy to come into a uh, you know, conference room our meeting room and to be able to work together. Right now, you come into a conference room and one person plugs in a laptop and you have a pretty static meeting or you have a video conference and it's kind of a serial broadcast. We think that it should be, you should come into a room with whatever tool you have, with your iPad, your smartphone, or your laptop, or your Dell PC, whatever it is that you come into the room with, you should be an equal participant. You should be able to share and create. Is it going to work? It's going to work. Yeah? As, as I was saying, the, uh, the magic of what we do is space. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually pushing pushing space and it feels really natural and, and easy because we as humans are really great at manipulating space. We're tracking space here, uh, not with gloves, uh, as you may remember from, uh, say for example, the Minority Report movie, but we're, we're tracking space with this spatial wand. So this is a kind of like a remote? Uh, think of it as a sort of a spatial, a spatial wand, spatial remote. Um, it's being tracked to the ultrasonic. We have the uh, ultrasonic emitters around the bezels of the monitors in front of me and little speakers here. That, so that's how we're tracking where this object is in space. It's because very quick and... Super, super easy because we could be using gloves, for example, but you don't want to be taking off a glove and handing it to, to your... I can have one of my colleagues come up. Miguel, do you want to join me? Because as I said that for, for us, by, by definition, yeah. uh, sort of the, the way that, that, that we work today in kind of this post-PC uh, world is collaborative and multi-user. So my colleague Miguel also can, uh, can interact with this space. So, so he's interacting with this space, I'm interacting with this space. So with mezzanine, you can use mezzanine, for example, as a um, sort of uh, traditional kind of linear presentation mode. Here I am in sort of in presentation mode. But if I'm with a bunch of my colleagues and we're working together on a project, we can come into, come into the meeting room and everyone, as I mentioned, can bring their own tool. So let's say somebody brings their iPad. They have their iPad, and so the, their, their interface into the, the meeting is designed for the iPad. Now, you see, I'm... <coughs> oops. Oops. Let's see. Oops. Here we go. It was, it, was yeah. just the <coughs> it was asleep. So as you see here, you can see I'm controlling. Uh -huh. when I'm controlling the iPad, I'm controlling the space. This iPad could be in the room, or you could be sitting in a cafe, you could be sitting in an airport, um, connected uh, into the mezzanine room. <clears throat> there's a little mezzanine uh, application that sits on the iPad. Similarly, there's a, <clears throat> and a, a mezzanine yeah. application that sits uh, on this iPhone. So I can say, can I take your photo? Okay. All right. 
take your photo. Great. Now if you look up on the screen, so this phone, again, you could be anywhere. You could be in the room or you could be out, outside of the room. This phone is connected to, to the mezzanine meeting room. Again, connected devices uh, in the room. And you are now in our meeting. So there you are here. And I can put you in our presentation, or I can say, you know what? I'd like to throw you to this screen. So I'm going to throw you to that screen. Nice. And what I did was that I changed <laughs> the physical location of your photograph. Right? Because as I, as I mentioned, yeah. everything in... Uh, in G-Speak, the mezzanine is spatial. So I'm changing literally the XYZ location of, uh, of your photograph from one place to another. The other thing I can do is I can, let's say someone uh, comes to the meeting with, with, a, with a laptop. And so people are looking at the laptop and saying, well, you know, we don't, I don't really like uh, the position of this castle next to the boat that looks a little funky. So I'm going to take my magic wand and I'm going to go into that. I'm going to reach through the laptop. So I'm controlling the computer, but I'm doing it with my magic wand uh, on the screen. Now let's say there was a part of this, this model that we said, you know what, let's, uh, let's, we don't like, say for example, the way this object sitting in this image. So I just, what I just did was that I just took a snapshot of a piece uh, of that, and here it is. Again, I can crop this over on another, what we call a digital port board, or I can put this into our linear presentation. Similarly, this is a video. If you see down, uh, down below here, there, uh, we have the ability to, to uh, put four different uh, videos connected into the mezzanine environment. And I can do the same thing with the frame of video. I can go into the video and I can say, you know what? I'm interested in just that frame of the video. Okay. Up, I'm going to get rid of the video stream for the moment. And now that frame of the video is now a static asset nice. in, in my presentation. All right, so what is the technology involved? Do you have computers behind? Yes, we do. We have uh, a server that, uh, that sits uh, behind here, and we have another uh, computer running uh, these two, uh, what we call digital core cores. So how did you, is a lot of programming involved? The, the, the GSpeak platform, yeah. which Mezzanine is, is, is based on our GSpeak platform, uh, is, is, is our core platform and it uh, represents uh, years of, uh, of engineering work. Um, there's a lot of big math behind it yeah. uh, because if you can imagine that, you know, as I said, everything is, is, is spatial and uh, so that there's a lot of big math that, that goes into the platform. So yes, is, there's a, is it based on Windows or Linux or...? Well, uh, G speaks sits yeah. on top of operating systems, so it can sit on top of Windows or Linux. Yeah. All right, and uh, so you need to buy these special screens with the ultrasound. Uh, no, they're they're just uh, standard screens, yeah. and we we put these little uh, sort of ultrasonic emitters uh, around the screens. So, so the you put the. Uh, let me go. These these ones are added. Yes, those are added. So you have some down here, down there. All right, and so you buy basically you buy the software, you buy the what do you call the wand, the wand, magic wands. What do you call them? Sorry. Special. 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 And uh, you buy the little devices. <laughs> uh, um, you contact Oblong. Uh, yeah. You so visit oblong.com, uh, our website, and you can have more information about Mezzanine and the other products and services that we offer. And uh, when you buy Mezzanine, you. Uh, get the, um, uh, the application, sort of the, the mezzanine appliance, in addition to the spatial wands and the, the um, tracking devices. And so how many people are using this today? Uh, we have uh, multiple installations with uh, a lot of our early adopter customers. We had a soft launch with early adopter customers the end of last year. Yeah. Here at the Mobile World Congress, this is the first time that Mezzanine uh, has uh, that we've sort of opened up Mezzanine to the, to the general public, as it were. Is there a price? There, there is, uh, 
but I would encourage people who are interested to get in touch with us uh, to talk about price. All right. So uh, soon enough, everybody's going to have this on the TV? Absolutely. Everybody. If, if, if you want, we can go look, look at what we're showing uh, um, over here. Yeah. So this is my colleague Miguel. Hi. And uh, what we were talking about a minute ago was the uh, the importance of space. So uh, from Ezzanine, we were talking space ultrasonically here. We're tracking space. We're tracking Miguel's free hand. We're not tracking a spatial wand. Instead, we're tracking the position of Miguel's hand in space. So no more ultrasound. Nope. This is uh, using a depth sensor there, Hi. which is uh, similar to what you would find on a Microsoft Connect gaming system, right. for example. Very low cost uh, sensor. And so the sensor is tracking Miguel's hand in space. You can see here, this yeah. is a representation of what the sensor is viewing. All right. And so Miguel is going to now use his, uh, his iPhone. He's yeah. going to connect to the G-Speak system. So he's got a G-Speak application that yeah. is on his iPhone. You can actually go to the iTunes store and download the G-Speak application. Yeah and play with it on a website dedicated to sort of showing how you can use your iPhone as a spatial pointing device. Right. So now, Miguel is using yeah. some of the... Uh, he's manipulating his, his iPhone and that's changing things on the screen. He's swiping to change the state of things on the screen. Mm -hmm. And he's going to go into another little demonstration to show how the, the phone is yeah. used as a sort of a, a smart spatial pointer. So you see there, he's, uh, he's got a, point, a pointer, and he's just he's going to grab a point, and he's uh, controlling the, um, the little snake. Yeah, the little, the little snake. snake. <laughs> uh, again, this is just a, a technology demonstration to show uh, this working. This isn't obviously an application, but just to show the... Uh, um, so basically, your company has a prior art on uh, the Kinect kind of stuff, right? Because it's in the movie. And uh, what's it called? Uh, is this technology could be affordable? Like, it well, could be I, every 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 conference room will have this. Well, if if you look at what we're what we're showing here, for example, this is uh, just a, sm a small application yeah. on the on the iPhone, uh, and that's. Um, so that, that's just a, an application on an yeah. iPhone, which is you know obviously in the pockets of many many people. The, the mezzanine room, the, the setup for the mezzanine room yeah. uh, is uh, that product at the moment is aimed at the enterprise market because it is uh, it is more costly because it's it's uh, there's there's more um, equipment needed to yeah. sort of enable the whole mezzanine experience. Is there a cost in setting it up correctly? Like professionals have to come and tune it, or is uh, it like kind of automatic? It, it, uh, Today, uh, yeah. you need a, an installation team to come and, yeah. and install the room and make sure that everything functions yeah. properly. Um, soon, it will be more out of the box. But today, you automatic need to uh, calibration in the future. In the future, yes. All right, cool. So soon enough, everybody will have it, maybe. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely.